Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankie FM84. Thank you very much for coming back and joining me on another episode of Bello Calcio. Coming out in Japan in the J-League, we're managing Shonan Balmare. So if you were with us yesterday, you'd have seen a satisfying 9-0 victory against Persija Jakarta. That was in the second round of the knockout phase of the uh, Asian Champions League. Today, we have set ourselves up for a tie with Ura Red Diamonds in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. In the in-between, we had some league games as we are working towards the end of the season. The title is already wrapped up, so let's show you how we got on in those games. We had three of them. The first one was a 2-1 win against Viva and Nagasaki. Goals from Mita and Kitahara getting three points on the road there. We then went to play Yokohama F Marinos. We beat them 2-0 with goals from Mita and Preysa. And then finally, another three points came from Nagoya Grampus as we beat them 1-0 with a goal from Satoshi Hayashi. And that meant that it was nine from nine in the league. As I said, we already had the league wrapped up. So we have just been rotating the team, trying to get different players in, resting players where we can and still getting points on the board so a little look at the league table before we jump into today's champions league quarter final game you can see we're top of the league with a goal difference of 69 points of 79 we have won 25 games from possible 31 and we have steamrolled the league to be champions at this point so that means that we have two games in close succession both against Ura Red Diamonds the first of which is going to be the AFC Champions League quarter final that's today's episode tomorrow's episode we will play against them in the Emperor's Cup quarter final so two quarter finals in two days but the first one is the Champions League so let's show you the starting lineup and how we get on against Ura Red Diamonds in the Champions League Here we go then, this is going to be the lineup that's going to go out and hopefully book our place in the semi-final of the Champions League. We have got Tani in goal, Hata, Hatanaka, Kuwahara and Campania at right back. We have Ghana as the RPM in front of them. We then have Presar, Fretheim and Hayashi as the attacking three, hopefully feeding the ball to Machida and Mita and they are going to score the goals that fire us into the semi-final of the Champions League. So let's jump into today's game and show you how we get on against the Aurora Red Diamonds. Here we go then, another vital 90 minutes in the season is up and running and the Champions League quarter-final has kicked off. Nothing happening in the opening 10 minutes, so that's a bit of a change because in the last few episodes we've been having goals pretty quickly from kickoff, and to get through to nearly 20 minutes without even a highlight is something different. Looking at the stats, it looked like we were the team on top, and indeed it looks like we are the team that's going to have the first attack as we're knocking the ball around in the middle of the park. Campania is going to play out to Hayashi. He's played the ball across field into the path of Hata. He's in, he gets tackled. Mita then hits the inside of the post and as the ball's rolling forward, the defender gets there first, kicks it out and we are going to have a corner kick which James Garner is going to deliver into the middle of the box. He tries to find Hatanaka at the near post, the ball goes up and out for a goal kick so he must have got there. But that was really unlucky, I thought Mita, as soon as the ball rolled into his path, he opened his body out and went for that kind of bent shot towards the uh, far post. On another day that hits the post and goes in, today it's hit the post and come out. And this is a little bit of a tense quarter final. it seems. Neither team really wanted to give too much away. But we've had 13, 14 shots in the first half. Six of which have been on target. We've only had that one highlight. So we have flown through to half time. We're getting at nil-nil. Uh, our assistant is telling the players that the fans expect more. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. We seem to have done pretty well in the first half. Done everything bar score a goal. And I think that we are probably going to get closer as the game goes on but we had an attack that breaks down there as we give the ball away sloppily Mita is pressing high up the pitch but they're going to try and play out from the back knocking it around confidently aren't they let's see what they can do with it they give it to the goalkeeper who's just going to give it to one of our defenders Kuwahara brings it down he's going to bring it forwards what can he do he goes back to our goalkeeper who probably is going to lump it long no Hatanaka to Hatta working it through the middle now as Fretheim gets on the ball but then it's given away we are in the middle third of the pitch, looking to get the ball back, which Hayashi does do. He looks like he's tripped there, but he's carried on. Referee did nothing. He's going to cross the ball in. There's Fretheim with the head out. It's gone just over the top of the crossbar. And that's unfortunate for us. 
it looked likely that we were going to be taking the lead there, but no, couldn't keep the header under the bar, and it goes out for a goal kick. So, end to end, it's getting a little bit now because Ura Red Diamonds are on the attack. They switch the plane to the middle of the field and then switch it back out to the right where Ayrton is all alone. Takes his time though, and we get to close them down. And then Tanaka has a shot from distance, which Tani turns over for a corner. So, uh, this game swinging back and forth. What can they do with their corner? Hiroki's going to swing it in. It's over everybody, but. Oh, I thought there was a penalty even then. I saw a yellow card come out and I thought, oh my gosh, he's given a penalty. He hasn't. He actually gave a yellow card against an Uruwa player, which was Ayrton, for a foul. So let's try and make some changes. We're going to bring Nishikawa on in place of Fretheim. And we are going to bring Uchiyama on in place of Machida. They said Machida was a little bit short of fitness going into the game. So let's try and switch it up at the front and see if we can get anything going in terms of attacks. This has been an uncharacteristic game for us. We've just won 9-0 and now we are struggling in the 80th minute. 0-0. We've not really had the best of it and they are going to take the lead. What has happened there at Sushi Zaisen has scored from distance. Tani, oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Tani he dives over the ball almost and it's gone underneath his body to give Ura Red Diamonds the lead. And remember, these Champions League games are only one leg. It's just a single game. It's not like we play home and away. This is it. We're 10 minutes away now from relinquishing the Champions League. We've gone on attacking to see what we can do. And we're going to have a free kick, which Ghana plays in. Uchiyama's there. We've gone straight up the other end and equalised, thankfully. And then the referee disallows it. Don't even get to see how much he was offside or anything. It's just straight ruled out. And that's disappointing because it looked like we were going to be getting back into the game. But no, the game has different ideas. And then we have a corner that's swung in. And we're getting desperate now. So I'm going to just go very attacking. I don't care what happens other than that, obviously. Game just runs out. And Ura Red Diamonds have done the impossible. They have beaten us in the Champions League. We are only quarter finalists. And it just shows that we are only, well, in-game humans. Because we were absolutely bossing everything. The league, the cups. And now we are out of two of them in the space of a couple of episodes. We got knocked out by Vis Kobe. We have now just been knocked out of the Champions League by Ura Red Diamonds. So we are at least another couple of steps closer to the end of the season, I suppose. Um... Not too much to say, really, other than the fact that we had the chances. We just couldn't put them away, and they scored with a bit of a dodgy goal. Goalkeeper diving over the ball and whatnot, and we are out of the Champions League. So, not too much time to be depressed, because, oh, would you believe it? Our next game is also against Uruwa Red Diamond, so we're looking for instant revenge in the Emperor's Cup quarterfinal. That's going to be in tomorrow's episode, so you're going to have to come and see if we can get that. Right then, for this one... I'm going to leave it there. We've got that episode tomorrow. Then we've got three league games before we are into the off-season. Although, if we beat Ura Red Diamonds, we have a run to the final of the Emperor's Cup to look forward to. So, either way, we've got a few episodes left before the end of the season. So, you're going to have to come back and see how we get on. But if you're at this point of the episode, firstly, thank you very much for watching. Secondly, if you haven't hit that subscribe and like button, please consider doing so because the channel needs every single person that can help out to help out. And I appreciate every single person that's took the time so far to do that for me. Uh, really enjoyed this journey on YouTube so far. And if you want to stick around and come for the ride, please hit the buttons and come with me. But for this one, I'm going to be wrapping it there. Come back tomorrow and check us out. See if we can get instant revenge on Ura Red Diamonds as we face off against them in the Emperor's Cup quarter final.